all right hello everyone this is gonna be a live tutorial even though it's recorded i'm gonna do it live um, of how to use codeball together with the third game we just released as part of our simple data repository to run the patterns that come by default on codeball uh, and be able to import those patterns into a game data set so that you can look at them in play um, like i said it's gonna be a live demo so things can fail uh, let's hope not um, so the first thing you have to do is go to metricasports.com and create a user. If you have one, you can use the one you have. If not, just come here, create it. Um, let's see, I'm going to do uh, Bruno, yeah, demo, code ball, etc. Remove this out complete from here. Uh, accept the terms and conditions and proceed. Um, okay, so this is going to create a user. It's going to take you here to the download page um so you can download the latest version of play for mac or windows do that because we're gonna need it later but you can leave it download in the meantime um and the next thing thing we need to do is to come to uh, our cloud engine which is cloud.america-sports.com and log in here um and it's fine when you enter unless you are already a user and you have something here you're gonna have nothing here it's fine it says no games we're gonna uh, solve that later uh, but for now what you need to do is go here to the settings uh, and make sure you copy this organization pr uh, prefix which is gonna be different for every user so in this case for me is this one met 151 so I'm gonna copy this one and this we're going to need so that then we can upload patterns to our user or our user game data sets specifically. So we're going to copy that. Um, then uh, one thing you need to do before we go to Codeball is go to the repository, uh, to the GitHub repository uh, under sample data and download the data for game three. It's an uh, events file, a metadata, metadata file, and a tracking file. So make sure you download those and put them in a folder in your computer, wherever you want. Um, so once you have the data, uh, we can go to uh, Codeball, uh, to the repository. Let me, oops, not that one. Um, go to the repository of Codeball and look for this patterns config, the JSON. You can also create a config file outside of the repository if you had Codeball installed and then you want to give your own config file, you can do that also given the path, but I'm gonna use this one here. Um, go to that file and you'll see that I have three codes here, team stretch, set pieces and passes into the box. And each code has a name that I start with prefix. This is what you need to replace uh, for your own prefix for your own organization, right? So. Once you change that, uh, so that the codes we have we have a name starting with your own uh, prefix, you can go to uh, this file. So this file is not including the repository, but this is it's in the documentation. Uh, I forgot to mention, but uh, this is the codeball.metrica.sports.com is where the documentation for Codeball lives, and you can go to here example run patterns and find this same uh, kind of information. Uh, so you go there, you import Codeball, you define the files, you create a game data set, pattern set, etc., etc. So I'm not going to go into the details now, but basically you need to copy this from the documentation um, and kind of run um, this file after you, ha you have changed the prefix, so that's very important. Um, so now this is going to take a while to load all the data and compute the patterns. It's mostly time that it's spent um, loading the data. Uh, but once the data is loaded, it computes the pattern and it will kind of update this uh, output.pat file here. Uh, or it will produce it for you because you probably don't have it. So yeah, now we can go to that file. Uh, and if you have a look here, all the pattern codes are already kind of computed with the prefix we have. So this is the file we need to import into uh, our game data set in Metrica Cloud. But as you remember, there weren't any game data sets there. So first we need to fix that. We need to go back to cloud. So close the settings, uh, come here to add key. And here type the code sample game three. 
applied uh, and that will kind of add this game data set it's a fork of the original game data set but it will add this uh, game data set to your database uh, and what you need to do after that is come here to the patterns file uh, to this input custom pattern file uh, and go to your code build repository and add, upload the patterns file um, I have had this already uh, which is I think it fails but if you try again it works you see yeah so you have to upload it twice well, of course we're gonna look into that but uh, if it fails the first time don't worry try again uh, and it will be successful um, okay so now you have it in cloud we go to the last last step which is to um, go check this in play um, so we need to log in in play demo.codeball uh, at Luca sports Oops. Mm. again um Okay, so this is I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna log in with my default uh, Bruno user um, because th I, I'm getting the message about the notification that it's only valid in one license per device. Um, okay, so you have nothing here or yes, depending if you're already user. I'm gonna create a new workspace. Um, Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna create a new workspace, documents, play workspaces, code ball, save it. Um, and now I need to go to my uh, DB manager. You won't have, you, you have only the sample game three here. I have a lot of other uh, data um uh, okay so select you have only one i have more but just select that one where did it go um uh select one and download it and then you can go back i forgot to mention but that is kind of the database you click here and you go to database and th there you see all your game data sets um, like I said, you have only one. Uh, I had many, but you will, you will have only one. Um, and the last step here is to, uh, so if you click here, you'll see the custom pattern events. Uh, you see here team stretch, set pieces and passes into the box. Um, but there's no video because you need to link that video. Um, I forgot to mention that, but to get that video, you can get it from here. When you go to cloud, um go here to the uh this icon you can download a video or you can also download it from play click in here and say in download data video from db manager i already have the video in my computer so i'm going to link it not download it um uh, i think yes this one um uh, and you click on the game data set and you have it there uh, and now if you we go to our so you have the default metrical pattern events etc um, so if you go to the custom pattern files you have the for example the passes into the box patterns and when you click on one of them and you or, or you click on one of them and you play it you will see that the visualizations of the pass and the and the uh, are, are added uh, I'm going to change it here so that I don't have to resume pass manually whenever there is a pass annotation. So here as well, uh, the pass and the arrow, etc. We also have the set pieces one, um, uh, where you can, for example, yeah, you have a set piece with a spotlight, and then the last one, the team stretch, where you have the uh, the length of the team on the events. Um, so yeah, that's it. It's a bit of like 
bit of too many steps um, so hopefully you can rewatch this video as many times as you want also that workflow is gonna get smooth in the future so don't get scared about how many steps they are there are um, once you have everything set up the only kind of uh, thing you need to do is compute the patterns file upload to cloud and then come to play and watch at the file so it gets you can iterate quite quickly uh, in the beginning there are many steps because in the prefix and you need to add the game data set etc but once you have everything set up it's actually rather easy uh, to kind of iterate or create your own patterns etc um, one last kind of disclaimer this code build is a lot of work in progress um, actually we have that ready already for a couple of months but we could kind of never got to release it or to release this game actually so now it's out there and people can play with it there are some things about adding like your own patterns to the to the code repository etc that are not really smooth out and we need to work on that um, uh, there are not that many tactical methods there are not that many zones etc so it's really a lot of work in progress but if you made it this far into this kind of tutorial means that you're interested and if you're interested interested i ask you to kind of hang on and actually it's an open source repository so you can help us also make it better suggest so changes uh, uh, we are also kind of really welcome contributions in this, repo this repository and if there are any other things like i don't know adding pitch control or um, adding different methods or adding cal calculations for respective possession value based on these data structures etc a lot of that is in our roadmap but it might take some time to get there uh, if you want to contribute make that happen also feel free to reach out uh, and yeah i'm super excited that we can release this sample game with video events and tracking data so that you can play out with code and create your own data driven analysis which is still very early days but i'm really looking forward to what the community can build or at least play around with this. Cheers.